SLK, welcome to the final round of Math and Science Quizby. After a whole week with all these hectic math and science activities, we have finally arrived at the culmination of this event. Today, we will challenge your understanding, your knowledge, your swift response, and especially your spirit for your house callers to win this math and science competition. To start this event, please welcome our own principal, Mr. Adam Mara, to give us a warm and encouraging message. Hello and welcome to SLK for Science and Math Week for 2021. The following activities have been designed by our educators who are super passionate about their subject areas and they hope our students will go out there and really change the world. We're coming at you online currently and the reason for that of course is the pandemic. Maybe amongst our students today we have future immunologists or perhaps we have future engineers, both of whom can make the world a better place. They do say that up to 65% of the jobs our students will be doing in the future don't even exist yet. So our goal as a school is to prepare our children, our students, to get out there and be prepared to do jobs that don't even exist yet. Science and math is a huge part of that in terms of the skill set that they need. So I'd like to wish all our contestants the best of luck and remember participation is more important than winning and holding on to that passion for lifelong learning is more important than anything. So enjoy, good luck and Godspeed. Thank you Mr. Adam for such a wonderful message. This event is the first competition for our house colors. Green Hawk, Blue Falcon, Yellow Osprey and Red Stellar. You should be excited because this is your chance to contribute more points to win the House Color Cup by the end of this academic year. All right, participating in this competition are students from grades 10, 11, and 12. Let us now introduce the contestants. Representing Yellow Osprey, Kevin Alianto and Natasha Artha. Representing Green Hawk, we have Rehan Bahari and Jonathan Tarlim. <laughs> Representing Red Stellar, we have Jason Tarlim and Ratchet Kandelwal. <laughs> and 
And last but not least, representing Blue Falcon, we have Nicholas Matthew and Kezia Liu. We have two rounds to compete for this event with 10 questions for each round and extra questions in case of a tiebreaker. In the first round, each house caller can answer and will be given points for the correct answer. Then on the second round, we will give questions that any house caller can answer the fastest. Last but not least, at the end of the first round, we will have questions for the viewers, so better stay tuned. SLK students who are watching right now will have to turn in the answers to Google Classroom. Please prepare pen, pencil, and paper, or uh, you may write your answers in Google Forms that your teachers have given you. All right. Here are the rules for the first round. There will be 10 questions. Any member of the house caller can give an answer. You have five seconds to discuss the answer. Once I have given you the cue after the que question has been read twice, you will need to lift your answer. For every correct answer, your house caller will automatically get 10 points. Okay, are you guys ready? First round, let us start. First round, first question. Please study the diagram. What is the chemical reaction happening in this experiment? A, sodium reacts with carbon dioxide to produce sodium carbonate and hydrogen. B, potassium carbonate reacts with carbon dioxide to produce potassium hydroxide and water. C, iron reacts with carbon monoxide to produce iron carbonate and water. Or D, Calcium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide to produce calcium car carbonate and water. What is the chemical reaction happening in this experiment? A. Sodium reacts with carbon dioxide to produce sodium carbonate and hydrogen. B. Potassium carbonate reacts with carbon dioxide to produce potassium hydroxide and water. C. Iron reacts with carbon monoxide to produce iron carbonate and water. Or D, calcium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide to produce calcium carbonate and water. You have five minutes to discuss your answer. Five seconds. I'm so sorry. Five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. The correct answer is letter D. Uh, so we have 10 points for the blue team and the green team. Next question. Question number two. What is the sum of angles inside the figure? A, 180. B, 270, C, 360, D, 90. What is the sum of angles inside the figure? A, 180, B, 270, C, 360, D, 90. You have five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. Lift your answer. The correct answer is letter C, 360. <laughs> 10 points for the green team. All? Okay. Next question. A nucleus store DNA in a eukaryotic cells, but apparently there is also an organelle which has DNA to regulate its metabolism process. 
Which organelle outside of the nucleus has DNA attached to it? A, Golgi bodies, B, ribosome, C, endoplasmic reticulum, D, mitochondria. A nucleus stores DNA in, eukary in eukaryotic cells, but apparently there is also an organelle which has DNA to regulate its metabolism process. Which organelle outside of the nucleus has DNA attached to it? A. Golgi bodies. B. Ribosome. C. Endoplasmic reticulum. D. Mitochondria. You have five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. The correct answer is letter D, mitochondria. 10 points for the red team and the blue team. Next question. Four years ago, Rami was three years older than Teddy and seven years older than Echo. If Teddy is 18 years old this year, how old is Echo this year? A, 13, B, 14, C, 15, D, 16. Four years ago, Rami was three years older than Teti and seven years older than Echo. If Teti is 18 years old this year, how old is Echo this year? A, 13, B, 14, C, 15, D, 16. You have five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. The correct answer is letter B. Red team, blue team, and green team all got 10 points. Next question. Please study the diagram. <laughs> okay. Name the compound. A, 1,2,3-trimethylpentane. B, 2,2,3-trimethylpentane. C, 2,3,3-trimethylpentane. D, 2,3,4-trimethylpentane. Study the diagram and name the compound. A, 1,2,3-trimethylpentane. B, 2,2,3-trimethylpentane. C, 2,3,3-trimethylpentane. D, 2,3,4-trimethylpentane. You have five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. The correct answer is letter D. Yellow team got 10 points. Let's move on. Next question. Study the pattern of diagram. Which one of the following options should be filled in at the end of the sequence? Study the pattern of the diagram. Which of the following options should be filled in at the end of the sequence? You have five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. The correct answer is letter C. 10 points for the red team, blue team, and green team. Next question. Please study the diagram. What is the value of the circle? A, 0 0.7, B, 0 0.8, C, 0 0.9, or D, 
study the diagram. What is the value of the circle? A, 0 0.7, B, 0 0.8, C, 0 0.9, D, 1.0. You have five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. The correct answer is letter C. 10 points for the red team and the yellow team. Let's move on. Question number eight. Why is a satellite able to orbit the Earth without falling back to the Earth or being lost in space? A, the gravity of the Earth is not enough to pull it back to the Earth. B, there is no gravity outside of the Earth. C, there is someone who always controls the sal satellite to move it around the Earth. Or D, the circular force of the satellite is equal to the Earth's gravitational force. Why is the satellite able to orbit the Earth without falling back to the Earth or being lost in space? Is it A, the gravity of the Earth is not enough to pull it back to the Earth? B, there is no gravity outside of the Earth. C, there is someone who always controls the satellite to move it around the Earth. D, the circular force of the satellite is equal to the Earth's gravitational force. You have five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. The correct answer is letter D. <laughs> 10 points for the green team. Next question. Which law states that if two thermodynamic systems are each in thermal equilibrium with a third one, then they are in thermal equilibrium with each other? A. First law of thermodynamic. B. Second law of thermodynamic. C. Zeroth law of thermodynamic. Or D. Third law of thermodynamic. Which law states that if two thermodynamic systems are each in thermal equilibrium with a third one, then they are in thermal equilibrium with each other? A. First law of thermodynamic. B. Second law of thermodynamic. C. Zeroth law of thermodynamic. D. Third law of thermodynamic. You have five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. The correct answer is letter C, zeroth law of thermodynamic. <laughs> Nobody got <laughs> any points. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. Let's move on to the last question for the first round. Question number 10. On which wavelength can the first harmonic happen? A, one-fourth wavelength. B, one-half wavelength. C, one wavelength. Or D, 1.25 wavelength. On which wavelength can the first harmonic happen? A, one-fourth wavelength. B, one half wavelength. C, one wavelength. Or D, 1.25 wavelength. You have five seconds to discuss your answer. Time's up. Please lift your answer. The correct answer is letter A, one fourth wavelength. <laughs> Nobody got any points. All right. <laughs> That's the end of the first round. Now, this time, for our online participants, 
We have trivia questions for grades 10, 11, and 12. Are you ready? You need to prepare your pen or paper, or you may write your answer in Google Forms that your teachers have given you. So we have the first trivia question. Okay, so while we're waiting, guys, please prepare for the second round. This is not for you to answer. This is for our online participants. So grades 10, 11, and 12, be ready. Please study the diagram. The question is, based on the chemical equation, this reaction is producing hydrogen gas. Explain the method in testing to prove that the gas is hydrogen. Based on the chemical equation, this reaction is producing hydrogen gas. Explain the method in testing to prove that the gas is hydrogen. So you have 10 seconds to answer. All right, time's up. Next question. Question number two. Which description involves the largest number of moles of the substance given? Which description involves the largest number of moles of the substance given? You have 10 seconds to answer. Please don't forget to submit your answers later via Google Forms. Okay, time's up. Now, let us have the summary of the scores for the first round for each house color. Let's have the first one. Yellow Osprey, total score for the first round, 20 points. <laughs> Green Hawk, total score? Fifty points. <laughs> Red Stellar total score, we have 40 points. Blue Falcon total score, 40 points. Okay. okay. So let's move on. Guys, second round. So breathe in, breathe out. Okay. You guys ready? Oops, Rehan, you okay? <laughs> All right, so let us begin. Second round, and here are the rules. In this round, we have questions that you can answer as fast as you can. But remember, if you missed the answer, then your house caller will be deducted with 10 points. Anyone from any house caller can answer the questions. You need to raise your paddle before you can answer the question and wait until I point your name or your house caller, then you can say your answer within three seconds. If you answer before the cue, you will get minus 10 points. I'll repeat that. You need to raise your paddle before you can answer the question and wait until I point your name or your house caller, then you can answer within three seconds. If you answer before the cue, you will get minus 10 points. Every correct answer will get 10 points. The wrong answer will get minus 10 points. The other fastest house caller can do a steal if the answer given is wrong. Okay, let's have a trial question. Shall we, guys? Answer as fast as you can. I'm going to borrow Ms. Arian's question a while ago. Who is the most handsome teacher in SLK? Red? Mr. Rami! <laughs> the student has spoken. Okay, so it's Mr. Rami. That is how we do it, okay? You answer it as fast as you can. Okay, so are you guys ready? 
let's move on. First question for the second round. Please study the diagram. What type of reaction will show the diagram? Any answer? You got 10 seconds. Raise your paddle if you have the answer. Ten seconds on the clock. Okay, time's up. Let's reveal the correct answer. The correct answer is endothermic reaction. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Next question. Given that A times 627 equals 72,943, Solve A minus 1 in brackets times 627. 10 seconds on the clock. Green. 72316. That is... Correct. 10 points for the green team. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Question number three. Answer as fast as you can, guys. Okay. In 1897, x-rays were first used on a military battlefield during the Balkan War to... 10 seconds on the clock. Time's up. The correct answer, melt the enemy's tanks. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Next question. Question number four, second round. Which number comes next in this sequence? One, two, three, six, eleven, twenty, thirty-seven. 10 seconds on the clock. Time's up. Red. Answer. Can you say it again, please? 29. 29 is... You cannot change your answer anymore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The correct answer is... You can steal. Who can steal? One time's up. Okay. The correct answer is 68. Okay. Let's proceed. Next question. Question number five. Okay. Please study the diagram. Mm -hmm. The question is, an unknown substance is heated producing a pungent smell. The fumes are then tested with a red litmus paper. The red litmus paper turned blue. What is the type of gas being produced? Blue. Yes. Say your answer, please. Hydrogen. That is incorrect. Steel from any team color. Steel. 
An unknown substance is heated, producing a pungent smell. The fumes are then tested with a red litmus paper. The red litmus paper turns blue. What is the type of gas? Red. Can you say it again, please? Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. I'm sorry, it is incorrect. The correct answer is ammonia gas. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. We've done the steal already from the blue team. Yeah, so no more steal. So we only steal once, okay? Don't make me confused. <laughs> Sam had 147 blue and white balls in total. After giving away one-fifth of the blue balls and 12 white balls, there was an equal of blue and white balls left. How many more blue balls than white balls were there at the start? Sam had 147 blue and white balls in total. After giving away one-fifth of the blue balls and 12 white balls, there was an equal of blue and white balls left. How many more blue balls than white balls were there at the start? Red. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The answer is incorrect. Steal. Any house caller who would like to steal? Five, four, three, two, one, time's up. Okay. All right. So let's reveal the correct answer. The correct answer is three. All right. Let's move on to the next question. Please study the picture and state the function of organ X. Study the picture and state the function of organ X. Ten seconds. Green. Time's up. Okay, let's reveal the correct answer. The correct answer is cornea. Focuses the entry of light into the lens. Okay, so nobody got points. Let's move on. Question number eight. In how many ways can you arrange the word lentera? In how many ways? Can you arrange the word lentera? Time's up. Any representative? Yellow. Two is incorrect. Okay, anyone who wants to steal? Anyone who wants to steal? Red. Can you say it again, please? 2,520 is correct. 10 points for the red team. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Question number nine. Two forces of equal magnitude are represented by two co coplanar vectors. One is directed towards the east and the other is directed towards the north. What is the direction? Yes, green. Southwest is correct. <laughs> Towards the southwest. Ten points for the green team. Okay, let's move on. Next question. Study the picture. 
There are 26 chickens and rabbits in a farm. The farmer counted 80 legs together. How many rabbits are there on the farm? There are 26 chickens and rabbits in a farm. The farmer counted 80 legs together. How many rabbits are there on the farm? Red. 27 is incorrect. Anyone who wants to steal? Green, yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Another steal? Only two times. I'm sorry, guys. So the correct answer is 14. So that's the end of our... That completes the second round okay, of our math and science quiz B. Okay, again, this is the time for our online viewers and supporters of Blue Falcon, Red Stellar, Yellow Osprey, and Green Hawk. I hope you're still with us, guys. We have two questions for you. And please, don't forget, SLK students should turn in their answers via Google Forms that was given to you by your teachers. Let's start with the first one. Okay, so while we're waiting, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you guys for coming in and representing your house callers and also the parents. Thank you for allowing your children to come to school and participate in this annual, e uh, annual event, our math and science quiz B. How are you doing guys? You okay? Yeah? Yeah. I was like, what? Okay. We're still waiting. Okay, so um, who do you think will win? What color? Do you think green? <laughs> Thank you. 
Now let's have the question for the audience. Question number one. Solve the following equation. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus until 99 in brackets minus 2 plus 4 plus 6 until plus 98 in brackets. You have 10 seconds. Okay, let's move on to the next question. What is the gradient of the tangent of the curve y equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 17 at point x equals 1? What is the gradient of the tangent of the curve y equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 17 at point x equals 1? You have 10 seconds to write your answers. That completes the math and science quiz B. Again, SLK students, grades 10, 11, and 12, don't forget to turn in your answers via Google Forms. Let us now see the final score and which house color reigned. Okay, I know everyone is very excited. So let's see the summary. Um, the teachers are checking, double checking, making sure that the scores are intact and correct. Our students will receive a certificate of participation and the winners will receive the certificate of recognition later. Okay, now let's have the big reveal. For the official result, result, we have fourth place goes to house color yellow, the yellow osprey. Total score, total score, okay, okay. Third place goes to Red Stellar, congratulations. <laughs> Second place goes to dun, 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 Blue Falcon. <laughs> and of course, our champion, congratulations, Green Hawk. We would like to call Mr. Adam and Mr. Rami to congratulate the winners from the green team. So for the green team, we have <laughs> Jonathan Tarlim and Rehan Bahari. So congratulations, guys. Green team, congratulations. That's okay. Today's event is not the end of the competition. More competitions are coming. More opportunities for you to win the House Color Cup for your team. We want to see you participate more in the upcoming events. And thank you for participating in this Quiz B Challenge. We will see you again next year. Stay safe and follow the health protocols wherever you go.